in most cases, breast cancer is asymptomatic, which is why we screen for it. You know, we're looking for cancer before it becomes symptomatic. Unfortunately, uh, by the time cancer, breast cancer and other cancers become symptomatic, they're usually advanced. Um, early cancer that is potentially curable is usually asymptomatic, um, and that's the whole idea behind screening. With, with a screening test like screening mammograms, you're looking for cancer in uh, people who have no symptoms. With mammograms, we're hoping to find breast cancer before it can even be felt. You know, we're hoping to find cancers that are a few millimeters in size. And that's why getting regular mammograms starting at age 40 is so important because we, we really want to find cancer before it can be found in any other way. Um, early breast cancer is curable in about 95% of cases. Um, and obviously, if it, if it goes longer before it's discovered, it's less likely to be curable. So that's why the current recommendations uh, from the American Can Cancer Society and American College of Radiology and a host of other organizations is for annual mammograms beginning at age 40, um, annual breast examination by your physician or nurse practitioner or PA, you know, whoever you see on a regular basis, and monthly breast self-examination. In high-risk women, and this would be women who have a, a lifetime risk uh, estimated at 20% or more, and this would be people with a very strong family history, uh, people with a known uh, mutation that increases their risk of breast cancer. Um, it would, uh, the current recommendation is that they start annual screening by age 30, but not before age 25, and that in addition to an annual mammogram, they should have an annual MRI. Uh, many people stagger those, uh, so they'll do a mammogram, six months later do an MRI, six months later do a mammogram, et cetera, and get e each one every year. Um, women who are at increased risk but less, uh, less high risk than those women uh, should consider doing an MRI every year as well as a mammogram. Um, and the, the, again, the risk factors to be concerned about are strong family history. And what a strong family history would be would be a primary relative, meaning sibling or parent, um, being diagnosed with breast cancer before menopause. Or if a male in your family, primary male uh, relative, has uh, breast cancer, um, that's a significant risk factor. So those would be the groups that should consider uh, an annual MRI in addition to their annual mammogram.